Jess, and it's time for supper. We're gonna have salmon and asparagus tonight, so follow along with me, and we'll have a delicious dinner tonight. So the ingredients and utensils that we're going to need are a baking sheet, some type of cookie sheet, some butter, a knife, some scissors, and I have here some um, dehydrated lemons. You can use fresh lemons or lemon juice, whatever you have available. There's pepper, salt, and asparagus. And then I have a steamer, and if you don't know what that is, it's just a pot. And then the steamer looks like this, it has holes. You can put the water in, and then that's how I steam my vegetables. I get this from Aldi's. It's pretty inexpensive. We paid $6 for this. And for one half, that feeds the both of us. We both get full on it. Open that up. You're going to put it skin side down on your baking sheet. And it is two boys. All right, now I'm gonna be honest, I have a pet peeve and I cannot stand touching meat with my hands. So I wash my hands quite a bit. All right, your next step is the seasoning. Again, this is the dehydrated lemon that I have, and I sprinkle that over top of the salmon, and I like a lot, so whatever you guys like. Then all salt and pepper. And this is just a really quick, easy meal. This is um, springtime, getting ready to go into summer. We're really busy taking care of animals, taking care of the garden. And these quick, easy meals, you know, take 25 minutes. So it makes it really nice. And then you'll take your butter. I left this out so it's pretty soft. Put some butter on each side. And you're just going to take the foil and wrap it up. Fold each side the best you can. pinching it together like so. Now I've already put water in my pot so it's ready to go and I will turn that on medium heat. I have frozen asparagus, the lid back on and I will pop this right into the oven for 25 minutes and when it's done I'll be right back all right guys we got five minutes left on the salmon so I'm going to go ahead and take the asparagus drain out the water I'm going to take the asparagus out of the steamer and put it in the pot like that the rest of the butter that I have, I'm going to go ahead and put in there. Put the lid back on and let that melt and just set it to the side. And I'll be back when the salmon's done. Alright everyone, I just pulled out the salmon and we're going to check it and see if it's done. Now, the way that you check to see if it's done, I 
comes by pulling it with the fork and if it comes off real easy flaky like then you know it's done I hope you can see that but it just falls off there it's a little pink still and that's the way you want it so what I like to do after checking it is wrap it back up and letting it sit for a few minutes say about four minutes I'll let that rest and then I'll plate it up and let you see what it looks like all right everyone the salmon is plated up on my plate I have salmon mayonnaise and asparagus my husband has salmon asparagus mayonnaise and cottage cheese also I want to tell you if anybody ever tells you that fats are bad for you don't believe them fats are really good lard mayonnaise avocados all the healthy fats bacon grease it's all healthy for you and I am living proof I lost 165 pounds eating this way so if you have any comments or questions leave them down below and thank you for following me why I made dinner tonight I hope you try it and as I always say, keto on.